بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله النبي الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear brothers and sisters Today inshallah in this episode we're going to look at the keepers of the hellfire This is extremely important within our religion Why? Because the Quraysh of Mecca when these ayat and this information of the keepers of the hellfire came to them, they began to mock at them. They began to mock at them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you who believe, referring to me and to you and all those people who have accepted Islam, all those people who have submitted themselves to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, O oh, you who believe, Save yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is men and stones, over which are appointed. Ikhwani, look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this fire and then he says, Over the fire they are appointed angels who are severe and stern and they do not flinch. In carrying out the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is in the 66th surah of the Quran, the 6th ayah. Allah says, save yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is men and stones. This fire will be fueled by men and stones. And elsewhere, the shayateen as well. And over this fire are appointed angels who are stern and severe and they never flinch in carrying out the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when Allah orders them to punish, they will punish and there is no, there is no mercy, there is no giving up. Why? Because they are stern and severe and they carry out the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ikhwani, what is their number? The number of angels who are appointed over the hellfire is 19. There are 19 angels who are appointed over the fire of Jahannam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, Soon I will cast him into a fire. And then Allah says, And what will explain to you what this fire is? How will you know what this fire is? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues, it does not per permit anything to endure it. Nothing can endure the pain and the torment. Nothing can stand it. Subhanallah. Nothing is able to remain patient within it. And it leaves nothing alone. Allah says, and it leaves nothing alone. Darkening and changing the color of man. Ikhwani, subhanallah. You won't be able to remain patient. They won't be able to endure the punishment. And it's so hot, it will change the color of man. So when something gets burnt in this dunya, it becomes dark and like charcoal, it changes color. The same way this fire, nothing can endure it and it changes the color of man. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, over it are 19. Over it are 19. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to those angels or those guardians of the hellfire. This ayah is in the 74th Surah of the Qur'an, ayah number 26 to 30. Ikhwani, this number, it was a test. Why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention it? Why does Allah jalla wa ala mention that there are 19 angels? What's the wisdom? This was a test for the kuffar of Quraysh and for all those disbelievers until Yawm al The Quraysh, the, the, uh, the Quraysh, they would say, you know, 19 angels will overpower them will overpower them. There's only 19 of them. There's so many of, this, we, of us. We have so many horses and so many weapons, etc. We will overpower them. We will overpower the 19 angels that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has appointed over the hellfire. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And we have set none but angels as guardians of the fire. And we have fixed their numbers as a trial for the disbelievers. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us now, the reason why we fix their number, not because we, don't, we need this many angels or we need more, it's a trial for the disbelievers. Will they believe truly that this 
is a fire who has 19 angels appointed over it? Or will they seek to explain it away? Or will they deny it? Or will they say, you know what? We'll overpower these angels. It doesn't matter. Subhanallah. A major test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ikhwani, these angels are those concerning whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that the fire will say, or those people in the fire, they will say to those angels, O oh guardians of the hellfire, call upon your Rabb to lighten this torment for us. Again, the people will call out to these angels, Yawm Al-Qiyamah, and they're burning in the fire. They will call out to these angels. Ikhwani, imagine this scene. 19 angels, billions upon billions upon billions of people. Subhanallah. And every man will be saying, every woman will be saying, O oh keepers, O oh guardians of the hellfire, call upon Allah. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask on our behalf. Intercede on our behalf. Ikhwani, imagine the scene. And in actual fact, you know, this statement of the Quraysh that we will overpower their, these angels is a very, very foolish one. It's a very foolish statement because one of these angels, as Ibn, Rab as Ibn Rajab, rahimahullah, he states, just one of these angels is enough to overpower and to, and to you know, uh, destroy all of humankind. Just one of these angels. And yet there are 19 such angels. And you imagine these are angels which have been created specifically for this task. They have no task except to be guardians over the hellfire. This shows us how ferocious, how violent the hellfire is. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, that he has set their number as a fixed number to 19, except as a trial for the, belief, for the disbelievers. So it's upon us as Muslims, ikhwani, that we take these ayat from the Quran and we just accept them the way they are. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and our families and all of the Muslims from the hellfire. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.